Hey friends, Tux here. I want to wish all you guys a happy, happy New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. It's just been a fantastic year. I can't believe all the cool things that have happened this year. It's been like such a weird year with the hurricane and with um, different trips and stuff. So many fun things. I think probably my favorite things of the year were probably seeing Muse Front Row, um, getting a brand new car. I got a new Dodge Challenger 2017. We also got a new Corvette Stingray in the family. So we have some cool stuff happening here. And um, it was just an exciting year of autos of trips and lots and lots of toys of course my favorite toy of the year is actually probably switch i think that was probably like the big one of the year although nintendo x you know one x is pretty cool and there's been a lot of cool like pokemon and uh, like different nintendo toys for the year but i think probably switch was like the big like breakthrough toy of the year in my opinion but anyway for this particular video guys we're gonna take a look at this world of nintendo Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild figure featuring Link. Okay, so very cool. This is not the Amiibos. Again, I kind of feel like Nintendo is kind of easing back a little bit on the Amiibos. I was playing the new Mario game on Switch, and it actually has a spot where it says, do you have an Amiibo? Like, use it now or whatever. So they're obviously still featuring Amiibos, but I feel like they're kind of have toned it down a little bit. They're not pushing them quite as hard as they used to be. Although there are some amazing Zelda Breath of the Wild Anibos too. And I have some videos if you go back a little ways too, you can check them out. But anyway, this is one of the figures and you can see there's a series here. There's a Mario, there's Link, there's Luigi, and there's some other ones too actually. And these are a lot of fun to collect too. I think detailed wise, these probably are as detailed or maybe more detailed than Anibos because they're a little larger. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have inside the package. We'll rip into this and pull it out. All right, let's see here. First, we'll check out the bow, and very cool bow with a functioning string here. So you can actually pew, pew, you can actually kind of shoot it. It does have a lot of flexibility to the bow. Um, this is rubbery, which is interesting. And so you can actually kind of have this in some different poses, which is cool, but nice detail, like the little artwork around the, the middle part here. You can see like kind of like a leather wrap in it, uh, leather wraps on the top and bottom. The string, nice and cool, I like the way you can actually pull it, which is pretty fun, so very cool. And there are some other accessories too. We have a staff here. You can see that, very cool. This is featured in the game. It has kind of a cool arrow back here, which is neat. And then the top part here, very interesting. This kind of goes along again. I guess this could be used as a staff, kind of like in Star Wars where Ray kind of like beats people with a staff kind of. It's kind of like that, you know, um, but very cool. I like all the like different colored paint on it. Very cool. I love the little etchings in it. Very, very nice. It's a really detailed, cool accessory. So very, very cool. And definitely cries out Zelda between the colors and the, the whole like artwork on it. This really looks Breath of the Wild without a doubt. And then taking a look here at the figure itself, I see all sorts of crazy twist ties. Let me go ahead and try and get Link out here carefully. Oh, he's popping out. Oh no, I'm losing pieces. Okay. So here we have a little accessory. We'll take a look at this first. This is like his little arrow, his arrow container. What do you call it? A quiver? I'm, I'm not sure if I have that right. Um, we have a spot for Link's arrows, which is really cool. And we'll go ahead and see this kind of goes, well, that's weird. He kind of flips all the way around. Um, you can actually stick this in the corresponding hole in the back here. So he can keep his arrows close at hand, ready for kind of attack. So very cool. Um, that does stick in there. The figure itself has really some nice artwork to it. it has kind of a kind of a peaceful link face. Looks pretty kind of calm and at peace with himself. Um, cool like articulation here in the elbows and the arms. So very cool. Nice detail touches on the shirt. And again, he has like his little kind of trademarked uh, Breath of the Wild little organizer thing there. Very cool. And little boots and stuff. Um, cool figure, you know. I'd say this is definitely a nice uh, Nintendo figure. Um, it feels like with all the articulation between the legs and everything, I almost feel like this might have a hard time standing. Let's try and see here if I'll we'll, if we'll pass the stand test. Oh uh, boy, I don't know. Oh no, I don't know. Like, I think... He almost could use a stand. And another bad thing is it looks like this falls off quite easily. So uh, you might want to be careful. Some people, sometimes will super glue figures are loose like this together just to kind of keep them in uh, one spot, you know. But anyway, very cool figure. I definitely like the actual flexibility of it. I just wish it was a little bit tighter, if anything, so that way he could stand. Maybe if he had actually had a stand with him, that would be good, but really cool artwork. Definitely digging it. This is solid, kind of solid plastic. You really can't bend it too much, but lots of great touches and a great collection um, addition to anyone's like Nintendo or 
Zelda collection. This is a really nice figure. So let me know what you think, guys. Let me know if you've played Breath of the Wild. I actually didn't beat it at Breath of the Wild. I kind of started playing it, and then I kind of like wasn't doing things like in the, the proper order. I was like just exploring, spending hours and hours just running around, checking out areas that were probably too hard for my character before he had the proper power-ups and stuff. So the game to me seemed kind of hard, but I definitely enjoyed it. I've spent probably somewhere, you can look on my Switch, if you're part of my friends list on Switch, you can see exactly how many hours I played it. I want to say I played it for like 10 plus hours, somewhere maybe 10, 15 hours or something, is how far I've gotten into it, you know. So I still have a lot of Zelda left to go for sure. But anyway, very cool figure. If you're at a toy store, you get these at Toys R Us, and I'll put a link for this in the description down below if I can find it on Amazon or online for you at a reasonable price, all right? All right, friends, um, we're almost at the end of the giveaway. Now is the time, guys. Say Enter Me or Enter Me Senpai for your name in the hat for my Texas Christmas contest. I mean, it is really literally going to be over very soon. Check the rules for all the dates and everything. I'll be drawing a winner sometime next week, and the contest runs to 11.59 p.m., I want to say on New Year's Eve, okay? So anyway, now is the time to go ahead and enter and get your name in the hat for some cool stuff, all right? All right, friends, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. I'm not afraid.